I think it's time that we had a discussion on Christian education. I had the privilege of preaching out on the West Coast at an Adventist Academy and was sitting and talking with one of my uh, old Oakwood classmates and he shared with me that this wonderful academy was going to become a day school. Uh, it had been a, a boarding academy for more than half a century, but people aren't sending their kids. Even. Adventist Christian education is, is in trouble, uh, and it's been something that has been a blessing to the church. Many of our leaders are products of Adventist Christian education. I'm not just talking about church leaders, I'm talking about leaders in society. Uh, but we've come to a point where uh, so many of our schools are in trouble. Uh, Mount Vernon has closed, and we don't want to see them close. So I want to ask a question and start a dialogue around who is Adventist Christian education for? Is it for our own children, or is it for everyone? Now, I know some will say that they, we've always had people who were not Christians uh, of our faith that have attended our school. Somebody told me that there was an actual formula that it should be uh, no more than 35% that are not members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. But my question is, um, should we stick to that kind of thinking and try to keep Adventist Christian education for the children of the Seventh-day Adventist denomination at the risk of losing the schools altogether. Because the kind of product that is produced, and I use that term to talk about the graduates of Christian education, uh, tend to make a significant impact upon society. But if we try to keep it primarily for our own children, uh, we may actually lose some of the some more schools. The reality is that some Seventh-day Adventists are not going to send their children to our schools. Maybe there's a crisis of confidence. I'm not exactly sure what the reason is. Uh, maybe it's a perception issue that needs to be addressed. But if we wait to address it, our schools may be shuttered by the time we figure it out. So I happen to be on the side of thinking that Adventist Christian education should be for everybody and that we ought to see it as an opportunity to be mission-minded and to reach out to, uh, in particular, those that are in the regional conferences, which are primarily African-American administered uh, conferences that cover regions, I would think that we would see it as an opportunity to impact young people uh, in disadvantaged neighborhoods, the poor black people of our urban centers, by offering them an education that can lift them and uh, give them a new lease on life. I think that we ought to, to actively uh, pursue more children who are not uh, born and bred Seventh-day Adventist children. Some said that, you know, there are behavior problems and that, that kind of thing. To me, you create a curriculum and a structure that addresses uh, what it takes to address the issues that cause behavior problems, but not decide that because those children are going to... Uh, bleed off on or infect or or have a be a bad influence upon our children that's reason enough to not bring them in in droves the the other piece that i've been wrestling with is this idea that you would ha even have a percentage because when you have a school in a city that could be supported by several churches uh maybe that would work but when you have a school in one city and you don't have a hundred percent participation from the parents sending their kids to that school that school is going to be hard pressed just to keep its doors open but but if you open those doors 
and you intentionally and actively recruit uh, other children, you can make a difference for time and eternity, and, uh, and we can preserve the institutions that have made such great contributions, not only to our church, but also to society. What are your thoughts? I'm interested in hearing. Maybe I'm the liberal. I would prefer to be called a progressive, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. I'm interested.